okay, get a little, little dusty up there, a little dusty up there. Hey everybody, Kit Walski here, checking in with another one of our fantastic YouTube videos where we're going to be talking a little bit about Star Trek. In this case, today we're not talking about a Star Trek production, but we are talking about Star Trek Las Vegas and how the people who put it on, Creation Entertainment, manages to piss everybody off pretty much all the time. Okay, so the internet kind of went a bit of a blaze uh, recently. Um, obviously, you guys know about the coronavirus. <laughs> That's terrible. We shouldn't do that. But you guys know about the coronavirus situation, and a lot of events all around the world have been postponed and or canceled, including the historic San Diego Comic-Con uh, situation that I can't even believe that they did, but ultimately they had to do, uh, which is, you know, pretty pretty crazy. It really kind of speaks, you know, the truth to how dangerous these the this disease is and this pandemic is. But some other events, namely Star Trek Las Vegas, have not decided to follow suit with the examples set by SDCC and are continuing to kind of press forward and try to act as if nothing's going on and people are not really enjoying that. Obviously, uh, a little bit ago, Creation Entertainment sent out a tweet saying that their next tier tickets are going to be available for purchase and people were kind of freaking out on them about it. And it kind of got me starting to think like it, it's a tough spot to be in, right? You know, on one hand, you have politicians and, and, you know, public health officials on TV saying things like, you know, we've got to keep this stuff going. We're not perfectly well yet. We have to keep these distancing things kind of going on, possibly even through to the end of the year, all these things like that. And then you also have politicians on national television telling people that we just got to get back to work and forget about the coronavirus. You're going to be fine. Herd immunity. It's going to be fine. Just get back to work. Nobody cares, including the mayor of Las Vegas, who is officially the craziest person, I think, in elected office, in my opinion. I don't know, but she's definitely kind of crazy. Uh, she went on national television a few weeks ago talking about how we just need to get people back into the casinos and then when asked if she was going to go out there and help those casino workers out she said absolutely not i have a family i'm not going out to the casino with all those coronavirus people what are you nuts you're talking disease i'm talking life i'm talking life and living these are people okay, who have had to no abandon so that didn't really pan very well. However, Star Trek Las Vegas is still apparently ongoing. And like I said earlier, it's a weird space to be in because you got one group saying, this is, we're not healthy, we got to keep this going. And another group saying, just get back to work and it's no big deal. So it's hard to really understand from a public perspective where are we at exactly? We see the death toll rising, but we also see the amount of people recovering rising. And, you know, it's a weird space to be in. And, STLV is in a tough spot, right, where, yeah, they do draw in the crowds. It's probably one of the largest Trek conventions, um, Trek-themed conventions in the U.S., but it's a tough spot, right? So we're talking about August. This thing is not in July because last year I think it was in July, and this year it's in, in August. So it's it's pretty far out there in terms of, you know, relative date speaking, and it's a hard spot to be in, right? If they cancel it now and everyone's back to normal, by mid-July, they're going to feel really stupid because now they're missing out on all their money. But if they don't, you know, go ahead and cancel it and everyone continues to say, oh, come on, come on, come on, but nobody actually shows up, then either the actors are losing out on the money or people who do show up and there's no actors there or there's just a whole bunch of different weird scenarios that you could kind of play out there. But I, I understand that deep discussion of what do we do? Because it's at that weird gray area where it's the end of April now, beginning of May, you have May, June, July, and it's like, do we just cancel it or do we continue to proceed as normal and hope things start to go back to the way they were in a few months? It's a tough spot to be in. And I don't I don't think there's a really good answer at this moment. You know, obviously I would want people to stay safe. I don't think it should just be about the money. But at the same time, though, it is a business, and there's a lot of people, including the actors, and that, that rely on these convention halls in order to make a living. So it, it's a tough spot to be in, definitely. There's an economy piece to it, and there's a safety piece to it. And, and obviously now there's this time piece where it's like, well, what do they do? Because, again, they're going to feel real dumb if they don't cancel the, if they, you know, they cancel the event and everything goes back to normal. I personally, if I was in Creation's position— would cancel the event. Um, I would either attempt to rework the actual event itself into a later date, maybe later on in the year, 
or just postpone it altogether. But I do know from grumblings and tumblings on the inside that this may be the last year for creation to actually have the convention for Star Trek Las Vegas. So I also think they're trying to go out with a bang, and I think they're also sweating a little bit about that, which puts a lot of it into the economy discussion. But I don't know. I just saw a lot of people beating up on them, and it does seem rather greedy, but I also pragmatically speaking, understand a little bit about the the difficult decision that's associated with, with just calling things off. But I think until we have widely dispersed vaccinations, I think events like Star Trek Las Vegas or really Vegas in general should probably be off people's list to go and do. Uh, unless they're, you know, thinking that they'll be okay if they get exposed or whatever that is. I want to go ahead and throw this question on to all of you guys and gals. Do you think that it's wrong for them to keep the event going? Or do you think that they should, you know, go ahead and cancel it? Or do you think that, you know, they should just keep it going and then wait to see what happens in a few months? Or do you think they should try to reschedule it? I, I wanted to kind of pose this question to all of you. It seemed to be kind of a hot topic on the line. And I wanted to share some of my thoughts and, and get your guys' feedback on it. Like I said, it's a tough, it's a tough call. I think from a business standpoint very pra pragmatically but if I was in their position I would probably try to postpone it and reschedule it but I am curious to hear what all of you guys and gals think anyways if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff nick that bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a video and I will catch all of you guys and gals next time